Please adjust the volume on your computer. In this video, we'll explore the editing options in Landscape. From View All Orders, select the job that you'd like to edit. Select View and View All Files in this order. Once your files are loaded, you can very easily select a file and explore editing options that exist in Add New Product, Add File, Select All, or in Adjustments. Adjustments are easy. There are some quick shortcuts that are offered in the Adjustments screen for simple edits where you can rotate your files left or right where you can turn image intelligence on and note the little icon in the upper right of the image file or turn image intelligence off. Note the icon disappears. From there you can also edit and you can select red eye removal, black and white, you can select sepia tone, or go back to color by unselecting sepia tone. The advanced menu option under adjustments gives a user many different selections in which they can edit or change the image. When you've selected an image to edit, you'll notice in this view you'll have two images of the same image shown. The one on your left is the image as original. The one on your right is the modified image. Changes that you make with advanced edits will show up on the right hand side. Starting at the top, you'll see under adjustments many different options when you scroll down or scroll up that allow you to correct your image. For example, in positioning, if you click the drop-down arrow, you'll notice that you can zoom into your image. You can position your image with the move buttons. You can also rotate your image by 90 degrees to the left or 90 degrees to the right. You also have single degrees of rotation to the left or to the right. Once you're finished with your selection, you can save that selection. We're going to use the Reset button to reset and then explore the next tool. Underneath the positioning, you have the Auto Correction feature, which is I2 on or off. By triggering the On button, you'll notice a dramatic change on the image on your right hand side. To get an idea of how it looks off, you can look at the left hand panel or turn it off and the right hand panel will go back to the original image. Below auto correction you have red eye reduction. Now this only works in an image where you have red eye, but to turn it on or off you simply open the drop down and turn it on or off. Below red eye you have scene correction and you can see in this case the default value of none is displayed. If you'd like to correct the scene for standard lighting you can click on standard. For strobe, flash, you can click on strobe. For cloudy sky you can click on cloudy sky. For backlight you can click on backlight. Below Scene Correction, you have the ability to go into Monotone Mode. You'll notice you have three selections, Off, which would be Color, Black and White, or Fujifilm Sepia. Below Monotone, you have Basic Color Mode, and in this case the default is Standard. You can change it to portrait for portrait subjects or skin tones, and that makes a nice change to your flesh tones. 
Below basic color mode, you have the color space that you're working in. You can change this to sRGB or PD color space, which is frontier color space. Below color space, you have noise reduction. And in this section, you can use a slider to increase the amount of noise added to a file or decrease the amount. The default is set to zero for noise reduction. Below noise reduction, you have brightness mode. And in that case, you can change the brightness of your image with the slider or the arrows, left or right, and change the brightness of your photograph. Below brightness, you have contrast. Opening up contrast allows you to increase or decrease the contrast of the image using the slider or the arrow buttons. Below contrast, you have saturation. Opening up saturation will allow you to increase or decrease the saturation of the image file. You'll notice when you decrease, you are doing pretty much the same thing as you do in black and white. However, the effect is variable. If you increase, you increase the saturation of all colors in your image. Below saturation, you have sharpness. And in sharpness, you can increase or decrease the amount of sharpness that you'd like added to your image. Again, you're working with a slider or your arrow buttons. Below sharpness, you have color corrections. And in this place, you can do RGB color corrections by points of correction. And you'll notice that it works in red, green, and blue. Below color correction, you have the beautiful skin mode. In this case, let's go to an image that will show us something about flesh tones. To use beautiful skin, select the drop down for beautiful skin, and you can increase or decrease the amount of changes that are made by using the arrow buttons or the slider. Beautiful skin is a algorithm proprietary to Fuji and found in landscape. To return to the job menu, save your edits and click on the back button. 